Warning, this video contains graphic images that may not be suitable for little sissy bitches, so your discretion is advised. We kill shit here. Welcome back guys, we're beaver trapping again. Get this ice out of here. It's gonna this ice is gonna cause me some problems. Whew. Whew. Shit balls. She deep boys. Here's our run that I can barely touch the bottom. Good run here, no? Yeah, maybe. It doesn't feel as good as I thought it was, but it's got it had bubbles coming out of it. Unless I'm at a different one. Let me look around here a little bit. It definitely had bubbles coming out of it, but I don't know if it was. Oh, that's because it's so damn deep. Yeah, we'll get a trap down in there for sure. And try it for a day or two. The bubbles were coming out of that hole, so could be just be a hole where they go and get air when it's got ice like it does. Wow, she's deep, boys. So, the beaver's got this all dammed up. I trapped it a few years ago, not, not exactly where I'm at right now, but upstream I got 16 beavers or so, and they're back. So, here we are, going to try and get them. <sighs> can I got some a cable restraint on the cross over there because she's worried about dogs getting caught you know uh, we got to be thankful that people that normally don't like trapping let us trap and we're gonna I told her I will not set anything that can catch a dog on her property but down that way I could I could put I'm not on her property at the very moment, but I didn't bring any, any drowners. I didn't know I'd find something on down on the property. I got permission here. So we will move and put some, some uh, on the ends of the crossovers. They're using the crossovers. I had ice all through here with bubbles. See the bubbles here? They're running all through here chewing on this stuff. So they're here. I am going to put a 330 at the bottom. I will show you that. I'm a little worried the ice is going to mess up my cable restraint but i can't do anything about it it's all busted up now and it's gonna i don't know if i should raise the cable restraint maybe i will all right let's go down the other spot okay well right here is the crossover i got a cable restraint up there that i probably need to move up just a hair just because of the just because of the ice I don't want to get caught in there when it tries to go down, but maybe it'll stay. You can use cable restraints. Uh, I'm using a cable restraint because I I got my own out there, so I gotta, I'm got i gonna use mine where I can, when I can, and I got a lot of them, so I do. I like to use the snare that flares, but I do use cable restraints down there too. Beaver, I've caught them in fox, caught fox, everything in the cable restraints, so. Kind of use whatever, to be honest. But cable restraint on the dam. Try to catch one that way. It'd be awesome. Something a little different than we're used to. I got people driving by looking at me. That's the one thing I don't like. And we can, in the, in the state I'm in, we can set to the eyes. So I can have this trap out of the water. And I might end up doing it that way. Uh, all states are different. That's a legal set right there. 100%. 
where I'm at, he'll slide down and go right into that because they're already going into this log here. So ideally I should have been back just a hair, but you know what? I might do that. Let's go right here. Because they're already diving, so why not take advantage of it? You gotta talk yourself into certain things. Change things up. Don't have to be doing the exact same stuff every time. I just wanna make sure that trap can fire under that log. And it will right there, it will anyways. There we go. Now, safeties are out of the way. Not gonna get caught on it. Beavers will supply us with some sticks here. It's not gonna go anywhere. If a beaver comes this way, and they have dams down that way too. If a beaver goes, comes here, he's gonna get caught. If he goes down, he's gonna get caught. Uh, there is another dam down the way. I got one cable restraint on it. Tomorrow I'll add a, this one I won't. I won't add a drowner. Usually I do put them right here. We may put one there depending on how this cable does. I like to catch one of that cable. Usually we put a drowner here at the bottom. But we got this nice log already here. They're gonna dive under that log. Perfect spot for a 330. Set. My main spot is up north. Up here, it's huge. They're flooding the tubes and stuff. You'll see it. I always set the bottoms and, the, and above before you go too crazy. You might push the beaver out when you're setting. You also, once they start catching them, they'll bail. Some of them will leave. They're like, I'm out and you'll catch them coming out. So there's a good chance this one will have one tomorrow. Once I start messing around up there catching beaver, they run. So you wanna be ready downstream. So I don't know if I ever hear other, I don't know if I ever hear any other trappers mention that kind of stuff, but it, in the snow, you'll see, they'll leave. They'll just, you'll just see a beaver going across that open field right there once you start trapping long enough. You're like, man, I didn't catch them all. That's because they some of them probably bailed out. You never get them all. They're out of here. They ain't stupid. Not always. That's ready to go. Trapped up is here. I'm coming. I'll be there in a minute. Well, I just picked up Trapped Up. You guys can check him out on his channel. 3.30 here. We can have him out of the water. Halfway on a slide needs i need a drowner here might end up putting one here but got a huge dam here now i got called from this property owner about the tubes we'll show you the tubes are flooding uh but then i came here and actually and i didn't know where it was i actually trapped close to here and uh he he called and found out where it was well i i looked at it and i'm like well hell that's that's where i trap the, the beaver just move up and down all the time but this is what gets me called, or trapped up called. This is no good for for the farmer. This is a bean field. You can see the edge right there. I mean, it's no good if the tractor was cruising through here. He'd be screwed, and they're not going to stop. That's the problem. They had a perfect pool right there. But no, they're just going to keep building this up. You can see right here where I walked up, they're climbing through. Another good spot for a 330. They're coming up here and they're rebuilding this. There's ice on top. You can see they came through last night. They're actually probably swimming through there now. Oh, yeah. Right along the edge now. They probably have to go up through that hole. Yeah, you can see a bubble. And some bubbles. Some of them left. Yeah, right there. I bet they're just cruising through yeah. that now. Yeah, right there, deep. Oh, yeah. Hard too. Yep. I don't know if they'll work on the dam if we opened it over here or not. I think we'll focus up this way. Yeah. I don't know how much, once we start killing them, I think they kind of stop their normal Routine travel route. Yeah, if we were just coming in here and just setting that, we'd definitely catch them there. I think, like I told them a minute ago on the camera, I always like to set the top and the bottom. That way, once you start catching them, they bail. Right. Like, I've had them go straight across in the snow, yep. out of here. Like, like where is he even going? <laughs> That's <laughs> it. They know it's the time to go. So. Yeah. yeah. We see what we got left. We might put one there anyways. Yeah. 
but I, I am gonna have fun. I might actually bring an excavator here because I can cruise right on. Huh? Yeah. I bring the mini. I bring the mini here, and we can just come right here. This will be drop hard. Wait until it freezes. Just how cool would it be to actually be able to get somewhere where the, most places we can't get to it with a little mini. No, you can't reach it. That mini would be awesome. We could hit this one. We could go hit that one over there. It'd be good videos. Can't tannerite this one. That's the only reason I'm thinking. No, I can't do it. Something. And we do have a hut, guys. We never have huts. There is a hut upstream here. Is it just up here? It's around that. that see, I pulled. I wasn't at the gate when I faced him. Gotcha. It's around that corner. So we'll go there. We got this guy. It's not my favorite set. It'll work. I, I like to have all my slides covered one way or another. Hang on, I'm gonna look right here. See, one went and broke the ice there. Yep. That's deep. So I do have two. I don't know if you heard me, but two big Connies. The giant one. Yeah. I was looking at time that said it. I mean, I could put it in here. These were they were, they were climbing out here. Yeah. That's, that's a fresh track right there on that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. See this? Oh, there's another little dam here. Yeah, I saw. I saw that. That's when the first day. Yeah, I didn't. Dam, I, I didn't like, catch it. I was looking at that one. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> I think there's a couple in here. There's a couple for sure. <laughs> I was thinking. I was worried it was just going to be like. I always get the question. I was always how worried. How many beavers are in there? Always I was, get the I was worried it was going to be a couple young antsy ones that. Because when you get up here, you'll see all the trees they were cutting. Yeah. See, that's another spot right here. We should throw one real quick. You want to set this one? I'll grab the Connie. Sure. I know they run up and down this, because they're keeping it open. Oh, geez. What's going on over here? Yeah. Bank dam? Bet there is. Right there with all them bubbles. There's a bank dam right there. Right there? Right here. Guarantee it's right there. Oh, I wouldn't go too fast. Well, guys, see, there's another hut over there, I believe. Yeah. See, it's open. But we got a lodge here. We don't see them very often. This is a Lodge 330 we'd be proud of. But look at this right here. If we could use drowners, right here would be a perfect place for one. They're climbing out, going up here, building on their shit. Um, climbing in and out here, all locations. 100% going in and out right there. I see where it makes that bubbles. I was actually just watching a video from 3:30, and he was like, "You look at these bank dens; it kind of makes like a Y or something." Yeah. And that's right here, guys. There's like a yeah, kind well, of a Y and a U. Looks like we'll coming to, right in. We'll have to kick around there. Uh, we got another lodge over there. I can see where they're at least that, unless that's just where they're all doing a lot of cutting. But it's it's tough because 3:30 normally gets a couple bank dens. We get them all. Yeah. They're normally not lodges, and it's just bank dens everywhere. But right over here, look at that trail, bubbles. There's probably a bank, probably a tunnel going from there all the way over to this lodge. I wouldn't be surprised. But then we gotta find the entrances. It's gonna be out there in the deep, super deep. I don't know if there's one on this side or not. Oh, man. There it is. I went through the mud. <laughs> oh God. There's the lodge. Or an entrance right here. Holy shit balls. Found it, boys. Found it. Found it. Found it. Full of sticks. It wasn't the entrance they were using, per se. It's out here. Oh, God. It's another one of them ones that's. Oh, what's that? Okay. Nothing. Okay. Gonna be right here. Hard bottom. He's just trying to stick his foot all the way up, trying to search the well, hole. I, I kind of ruined it a little bit by knocking all this stuff down into the hole. <laughs> when I stepped right here, it yeah. collapsed. And, oh yeah. Right so here. the bank dens, a lot of times the holes are like way out there where Jay is, but like Jay was just saying, come right off of that damn thing. And all right, we're good right here. Crashed it. Want to hand me a H stand or H stand or well, three thirty? Yeah, let's. By the 330? Yeah, let's try it. Don't get it real quick. They have like hardly any food. 
clean this up a little bit here. Alright, I think I found my spot. I'm out of practice. <laughs> Jeez. It's tight. I gave you a <sighs> Safety latches are on. I need to wire them up like everybody else does, but I don't. I, I think 330 is the only one that actually does that. Yeah, maybe. Good for him. It works. It definitely works. I'm lazy. Yeah, I'm right there with you. All right. You gonna do the swivel stick? Yeah. That, oh, that looks beautiful. Yeah, that's actually. a perfect swivel stick here. Swivel stick there. See, I don't, I'm not a collector of swivel sticks, so I use whatever I find, and sometimes I don't find shit. <laughs> All we're doing is finding that that runs about that wide. Hard bottom. Away from the debris, there's a lot of sticks and stuff all kind of over here. So I came back from it to where it was still narrow. I put my trap straight down and I got my stick crossing it. Nice opening and we should catch one here. Probably gonna be a bank down the other side. I mean, I, I fell in a hole over there. So who knows how many are here. <laughs> I mean, there's nothing here. We just got that ice that's annoying right now. Yeah. I got a little uphill here. I got a feeling that this is going to be too deep to play with. Yeah, I could see all the way around basically where you were right there. I didn't, I didn't feel like... I, I didn't think there was, but there, could, there, like there would be. could possibly be something out there. I just, I don't think there's going to be. I think so, but I don't want to get attacked by a beaver. <laughs> oh, you can't see shit. Am I going to get attacked by something? Hang on. That's kind of cool, man. I got to get my camera out so I have a light. I have that big light in my truck. I have to come back in here. Well, this is less than ideal <laughs> for the ladies. Holy shit. It's wicked. This is a beaver hut. Is it really? Essentially, they can live in me. Oh my god. This is wicked. Oh. That's kind of cool. I just think it's just I'm a simple man, but I'm assuming that's be the fuck. I can't believe there was one sitting It's got to be the slip it's out too. I'm not going down there. I'm not going down there. <laughs> oh, look. Never mind. That's shit. That looks like shit right there. Yeah. I thought there'd be a beer show in there. There might have been. It smells like shit, man. It stinks, for sure. Well, the line goes out past that to that dam, so it's about right. Yeah, that's what I figured. We're branching off. There's a lot of cutting going on over here for not for them traveling. Some are living over here somewhere. There's like no ice over here though. I bet there's a big dam up above. Uh huh? Fucking there's a sewer or something. Looks like a sewer right here. Look at all the trees. A little shallow. Hard. Oh, Jesus Christ, that tree is barely holding on. Yeah. I know. Wait till you see up here. Look at these trees, guys. They're just massacring all the trees. I'll be dropping one on that house. 
No ice. There's probably a hole over there, it looks like. Oh, yeah. I say... Definitely set a big trap here. Right in that yeah. shallow. Look at this up here. They literally logged the whole thing. Like, like literally. <laughs> yeah. They got every last bit of it. You talking about a... Holy crap. <laughs> you talking about a working beaver. My hey, Lord. Ain't no way they're carrying that all the way. All this stuff all the way to there. Whoa. There's got to be a dam upstream or something. <laughs> That's a big tree yeah. that just landed there. I'll pull that again. Yeah. Oh, shit. It's like a dumbbell. It does. Jeez, I don't know if I can make that. How are you still ooh, standing so ooh. deep? Yeah, you just floating? Right oh. I'm trying to get this put this down first. Oh, Where you're in. Go? You're in. Yeah, yeah. Turn around. Turn around. I'm already going. Oh god. I'm already going. Hey, I'm gonna be like Flair and his cameraman. <laughs> like it's hot. No, it ain't. And he got burnt right after Flair got burnt. Oh. I'm not going for it, I don't think. Oh, if I do, I'm going fast. Ooh. You took on water, amigo. Oh. Yep, I got water. Oh, easy spot for a 330. Look how deep that is. Yeah. Wow. Gotta put one there. Because right now we're not really tearing anything up. 330 spot, perfect right there. Well, we got wet. I, I could have uh, boarded the mission, but like, whatever, he did it, I did it. <laughs> Never saw a nut to bud ice crossing. There. This is the. the deep one. There's one here. It's not deep though. Unless you're talking. Unless you're talking like, oh, yeah, there this is going to be tough. There's three here. Is there three? There's one here too. Is that shallow here? Yeah. This one's really deep. Hand me the. So let's do this one and then we'll work our way this way so I don't have to go across this one anymore. It's not as shallow as this one. This one is nice here. Yeah, that one's really nice. Yeah, I'm ready to do this one. And we got the deep one, then we'll you'll see, you'll be keep coming, you'll find another one. Yeah. Right there. Yep. The deep one's just we'll have to find a deep. good one stick like 330 does for that one. No, the one that you put the thing on. For the oh, one you're the, the one yeah, the one you're yeah. The one you're standing in, this one can go in traditional way. Three runs here. More than a freaking bank den? Or a hut? I didn't bring nothing to secure anything. Uh, mind me to grab a couple uh, steaks. Okay, that pretty much will cover that banked in perfectly right there, boys. Oh. No, oh. but aisles are tough because they're thin. Oh, I got some thin right here. Yeah. Oh, did it just set off? Holy crap. Did it really? It acted like it did. I must have opened it up somehow. It's solid now. These are working. I guess, I don't know. I never know. Normally you can't get it in there like that. It scared me a little. Okay, safeties are off, I think. That one is. Fuck's that other safety at? Okay, safeties are off. That one, that one seems awesome. You gonna use the H stand for the deeper one? I have to, yeah. Yeah. It's too far down. I don't like playing around with it too much. Right here. Yeah, this will be nice. Oh. Spill his, his feet. He's trying to. I call it a half pike. Run. I'm gonna go ahead and not drown myself yeah. here. But I'm gonna find that trap since it's so goofy. 
and try to grab both springs. Maybe, maybe I can't. <laughs> All right, I pushed on the trap so that way the trap don't come up when you push down on the thing. Normally you can just stick it in, but since I can reach it, I wanted to do it that way. How tall are these? Are 46. 46? Yeah. You guys can see how, tall, how deep that actually it's is. It's deep. It's barely sticking out. Now we, got, we found out we got one more run here. Go There's a stick there already. Yeah. yeah. And a trap. stick there. And I'm going to walk right over here real quick. Another Belial. I'm gonna need a skinny, another skinny stick. That little one right there, that little limb will probably work. Whoa, that scared me. Oh God, we're stuck. Oh God. Gotta need some lube on her. Doing the old 330 trick here. Got a couple burrs on it though. Where'd that cable go? Right there. I'm gonna tie it up there somewhere. There we go. Really? Yeah, it has an SD card on there. Yeah. No, it's still blinking. I, I, think froze. It's I bet it. Yeah, it's recording. So, mm -hmm. all right, guys. Whenever you're trying to find your trap, just go straight down. Don't go back to forth. Just go straight down to your stick. You don't use your feet. It's in some fucking. Well, pardon my French. I'm not supposed to cuss. It's in some roots. There's a few roots down here, and it's. There we go. And that's it. Sticks through the, the jaws. There's a little gap in your jaws. You just put your stick like this, pins it, holds it in place, and we're golden. You just tie that to one of these sticks here or something. Yeah, I, haven't, I haven't been doing, I haven't been, no, I haven't been doing any of them. Okay. I've just been, I got the stick here in a soft mud. They don't go nowhere most I, times. That's not true. I lost that one under the ice for freaking ever. Yeah. An uh, otter will might take it, but I forgot my wire. Okay, we have five traps set. Nope, six traps. <clears throat> six traps where? Right here? Yeah. One. Well, I've two, got the ones that you actually three, set. four, five, six, seven. What about the ones that you set? Eight, nine, ten, and two two uh, cables. Got, got track, yeah. I know where they're at. Just haven't been keeping track. There's a lot more than five. I got got five right here. <laughs> well, guys, we got a dam. I opened it up a hair. I tried to open them up a little bit to get some movement going. There, there's several families. I'm thinking, or singles in between each dam. But not too much. You don't want to lower your water and make your traps not legal and all that stuff. But got a Mega Bear. RBG makes these. You can get them at F&T. Um, get her working again. We haven't used her for, I mean, that's plenty for a beaver to trip. Haven't used her all year yet, so she's a little stiff. And the way I've been trapping the day, I'm kind of like it's my first day of the season. So, put this log here. All we gotta do is get this bait boy setting down in the, right here in the middle. And anything that comes swimming along is gonna dive with it. We don't have ice here right now, so. Right in the middle. Remember, go straight down. Make sure you get the trap didn't fall over. Oh, whatnot. This would be plenty to dive, probably. 
And that's typically what they call them, dive sticks. But that log can stay here indefinitely until a flood takes it away. Uh, so then you got raccoons crossing, eventually you'll have a bobcat crossing. Uh-oh. My knot is right in the way. Such a big trap. Anybody that knows, it's basically it's, it's two 330s, right? Yeah. It's a 660. So yeah. 660. And it's, uh, and it's, well, okay, good. You had it. You're, pay, you're paying more attention to me. Yep, I, had I was like, where's my cable? Now I gotta go fumble <laughs> around and look for my cable. So basically, if we get the beavers riled up and they leave, or they come investigate that, uh, obviously trap, traps get snapped. Not necessarily gonna have some, but they do get snapped with nothing in them. Hopefully that don't happen. Not very much debris. That, that thing has a hell of a trigger on it that could catch a lot of debris. Well, should we run up and check that other place? Yeah. I think we got this covered. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, we got a cable restraint here, guys. <laughs> On this run, the beavers are coming out right here. Cable restrain them. He's cutting that big tree right there. You couldn't see it earlier when I was like, why is there beaver climbing out? Well, he's going right there. So the perfect spot for a cable restraint. Got another 330 there. <laughs> Should be good. Uh, ideally, I'd like to have a TS-85 or a Duke 650 setting there, but we don't have it with us, so that's going there for today. And then tomorrow, a drowner up top and a drowner down below. You'll get them coming all day long. Can't put nothing here, there's not enough water here. But they're also climbing down this. I don't know how often, but it looks wet. They're, they're going right underneath it here. Some big raccoon tracks too. Oh, there's one of them. <laughs> Climbing out over here. Uh, I say we tan right this son of a bitch. <laughs> the good thing is you don't have to have it underwater. If we were at Iowa. That suck. Oh, hang on, I'll get you. I thought you had him already. Use this light feathered one here. If you can get it between. If you can get it between. If not, I'll get you a different one. Here's a good one. And here's a good one. Safety's off? Yep, safety's already off. We'll find out if one's going in and out of there. Do you ever go fill around over there where it looks super deep? No, it looks super deep. I know. Stick this out of here. Hey guys, look how big this dam is, perspective of me being here. And it's so much wood. You could light it on fire. You hardly even see all the muds on the back side. It's like, it's like one of them Canadian beaver dams where you always see the sticks all on the back like this. That's what it reminds me of. Usually ours are covered in mud and grass. <laughs> yeah. That's it's amazing it's not growing grass or anything. It's pretty, pretty fresh, I think. Well, guys, it's just a setting video. Trapped up, showed up, helped me out. And we're going to check in the morning. It's going to be awesome, I think. Obviously, with the confidence with the 330s is down for me. Just because I always use uh, a drowner on each side of the dam. But maybe... Maybe it's a trick. Yeah. But, well, we're going to bring some. I'll get them in tomorrow and then we should start having some good catches. We got the deep freeze is coming. So we might as well use the drowners while we can. Then it'll all be underwater stuff. So stay tuned.